guess we can move on to our next uh, topic of the day, which is the uh, Jimmy Dore beef, the beef for dinner. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, the more self-immolation from Jimmy. Oh, my gosh. Yes, he's been making an absolute fool out of himself recently. You know, it's funny that, like, post Left Watch, uh, account that hates us, too, so it's not even like we have a dog in this fight. Like, it, it's been owning his ass. Like, did you see that he had the, the QAnon shaman from the January 6th what? on his show? What? Uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Jacob... <laughs> Uh, Ch Jake Chansley or whatever, something like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the kind of audience that he's going after right now. That's his new lane. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a sad state of affairs for sure. Um, but let's take a look at Jimmy was throwing a lot of mud earlier um, because, like I said, he went after Kyle, Jake, Anna, and Cornell West all in the same tweet thread, and this is all after supposedly you know quitting pot, getting more in touch with his dream life. And his Jungian feminine side. All you guys remember that whole arc that we reported on. You know, Jimmy coming to terms with his haters, uh, all that, all that kind of shit. Um, but even after all of that inner work and self reflection and dream journaling, um, he still apparently just wakes up every morning and has to spit vitriol into the fucking Twitter, right? Um, so here's here's a video, and it's stupid because Jimmy can never just make his goddamn point. He can never just be like, "Yeah, this is my opinion." He always has to like be like, "See this thing that I said seven years ago, and this beef that I was in. I'm I'm finally vindicated now, right?" When everyone's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" No one even remembers this spat that you're referencing. But I I guess you sure were vindicated, bro. That's that's really what matters here, right? Um, and don't get me wrong, I like to take a victory lap too when I'm fucking right about something. Uh, but to Jimmy, it just feels like that's the whole project. His entire political ideology is just based around this like vindictive pettiness and narcissism, which is hilarious. But anyway, let's actually dig into the you know substance and the merits of this discourse really quick, here. I, I do want to say I feel bad for Jimmy. It's gotta it's gotta be hard walking around as a sixty year old like living incarnation of the Beavis cartoon character. You know what I mean? When your head is like half. <laughs> the size of the rest of your body and you're walking all hunched over like this and your laugh sounds like yeah you see <laughs> like you're a fucking criminal in the 1940s but anyway exactly so he's quote tweeting this video here deep fake dissident message for democrats i fucking hate you you lost my vote and that's your fucking fault um and this is some random tiktoker i guess we can watch a little bit of his video let's uh take a look this guy looks real Whippy. Hi, Mama. My name is Kyle. I have been a registered Democrat for the last 22 years. I have voted in every election. He looks like a registered this Democrat for the last 22 years. Me, like, that guy doesn't look 40 <laughs> to me. I'm sorry, but I'm calling cap on that. You don't look 40. You, if you got, I want to know what your skincare routine is, pal. This is good. This, you look good for 40. You must not have kids. He does look like a registered Democrat, though. Oh, that's you know not up for debate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's voted in every election. <laughs> He takes his democratic duty very seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Up and down from the state to local level that I could vote in. I campaigned for John Kerry and Barack Obama. This Damn, maybe he is for the Democrats. I fucking hate you. I hate the fact that you've bamboozled us for so many years, touting progressive policies and giving us nothing. We haven't really been bamboozled so for the last seven people. years. Can we pause it again? Everybody's known what the fuck is going down the last seven years. That's the other thing that pisses me off about Jimmy Dore. Is he just strips context from everything and then acts as if it was like making his point for him. It was like, no, Jimmy, you just sat on the sidelines and screamed and shouted from your fucking living room. Uh, a bunch of deranged shit about how nothing else matters. No, 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 no. And then... You're like, oh, see, I said it was all fucked from the beginning. Look around you, huh? How could you like argue with me now? All I did was every single day, so everything was fucked, 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 fucked. Like, obviously, dude, that's <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Plus, he did you really say that I, that we've been boozled? Wait one sec. I hate you. I hate the fact that you've bamboozled us. I think okay, that would be bamboozled, but the fucking <laughs> yeah captions. They yeah. I was like, if he actually said we've been boozled, that would be hilarious. <laughs> we done been boozled by them Democrats. We've been boozled by them Democrats, <laughs> man. That's not how we live around these parts now, fella. You hear? Man, it's not by his word. God dang it! What you got left? But yeah, for real. I, I mean, this guy's right. Obviously, the Democrats suck. I'm not denying that. But imagine having been a proud, loyal. Democrat since the fucking John Kerry campaign and just now realizing that you've been boozled. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, yeah, they've, they've been boozling us, bro, for like my entire lifetime, for sure. They ran a pro-war candidate uh, <laughs> against George Bush in 2004 and got slaughtered, which I could have fucking told you would happen. Um, when have the Democrats been who they claim to be? Like, yeah, obviously, they constantly virtue signal. They pretend to be more progressive than they actually are. Uh, they pretend to be, you know, this opposition to the anti-democratic Republican Party when we all know it's a controlled opposition. Like, this is nothing new. And yes, they are still technically a little bit marginally better than the Republicans. Um, but yeah, I don't really understand this whole, like, oh, I just, I just woke up. I mean, good for you, right? Like, I'm glad you aren't being uh taken for this ride anymore um but it's also not like some profound revelation i don't think you know what i'm saying zach oh yeah for sure and then again i understand people being radicalized especially by what's going on with israel and palestine and you know maybe if you have bought into the democratic propaganda your entire life and now you're you know waking up because of the images and videos you're seeing i understand everyone like takes their time and has a i just can't imagine having been a loyal democrat since fucking john Kerry, and only now realizing that they're not this you uber progressive the entire bernie campaign and you yeah. were like, no, no, they just they just steal elections from people they don't, they don't know yeah watch bernie go again the second time well actually no they didn't steal the election in the Iowa caucus actually it was a shadow app that was made by democratic party mega donors and uh you know actually if you really cr criticize like there's a pete Buttigieg got first because of the you know <laughs> uh because if you triangulate on the certain uh areas of the you know the districts and uh the you know the whatnots then you can actually see that you know well he, he might have been less popular in the state but actually he won one one if you look at the app and it's like oh okay so so they didn't get you when they just put the podesta email came out it didn't get you when they had the weird fucking stupid shadow app uh it didn't get you at any point up until now but now now you're god and jimmy will be like you guys were you no we weren't that's what that's what's pissing me off about this like kyle and crystal and all these people that he's haranguing us about they, they've never been democratic party like fucking blue no matter whoers right they just <laughs> made the obvious case that jimmy when he is massively reductive uh and you know strips every political discussion of any nuance except i'm right i've always been right i'm so dumb and i'm right um then yeah then it, it makes it easy for you to selectively be like look at what i was right about all along but even uh you know a diehard jimmy dorstan one of our longtime chatters who was still a huge jimmy door guy zach the celtics guy had to fucking be like dude you were so wrong on rfk your judgment was so bad and you had absolutely no return fire for him when he humiliated you on your program live on air after you're supposed to be the big tough guy anybody could debate this blah blah blah. except you can't debate it because you don't actually know anything jimmy door doesn't know anything he has no idea what he's talking about he's dumber than rocks i think that his brain has started to fucking deteriorate even since he started to do his show quick pickling it with fucking booze i don't know what i don't give <laughs> it's the worst political analysis i've ever seen it's only the worst it is abject drivel yeah dude and compare that embarrassing softball interview he did with rfk to his vicious, unfair teardown of Marianne Williamson, which he only did to satisfy oh, Dr. West or Dr. West, which again, he only did to satisfy his conservative right wing base and to ultimately pave the way for him being a Trump supporter. That's already what has happened, right? He's a he's a Trump supporter. His channel is a MAGA channel, even if he doesn't explicitly tell his viewers to, you know, go vote for Donald Trump. It's very clear what his preference is you know he'll literally make videos saying that trump is a pro-peace candidate that you know we didn't have any wars under trump that trump would be handling the ukraine war better he makes it pretty fucking obvious it's not subtle who he supports which makes it all the more hilarious when he tweets shit like this so i was uh pilloried and called a right-wing grifter by jink uger anna kasparian kyle kalinsky and people with msnbc contracts for saying what this guy is saying in this video and of course he's talking about sam cedar there who he never references by name um and of course he never you know references tucker carlson as a person with a fox news contract or whatever but um jimmy says except i said it seven years ago that's when i decided to stop voting for democrats and started urging people to reject both parties and start a political revolution it's way past the time people woke up and did what Bernie Sanders pretended to want to do seven years ago. Start a revolution. I'll lead since no one else will. Oh, yeah. We're in good hands, guys. The movement is in good hands. Jimmy Dore has stepped up to be our leader. Now that Bernie has disappointed us all, 
luckily a new a new pope has been fucking well, the people's party is going to be on don't worry next time you just keep sending in some checks they're about to get on ballot they're about to get ballot access in all 50 states and when they do it's going to be true revolution gavin it's going to be a real people's revolt and it's not going to be about woke and it's not going to be about identity and it's not going to be about blue haired and tears and all the alphabet and whatnot it's going to be about one thing it's going to be about mate mate boy i can't wait that's a successful yeah. revolution in the making God, this tweet is so fucking dumb for a number of reasons let's break it down as you said zach kyle kalinsky never been a huge democrat apologist or loyal in any way in 2016 when jimmy Dore decided to break with the democrats kyle kalinsky also broke with the democrats kyle kalinsky voted for jill stein and proudly talked about it bragged about it on a show Brain for years jill steiner <laughs> exactly uh yeah he was a jill stein voter um jank uger and anna kasparian they were Hillary voters, and that was a bit of a disagreement Jimmy had during his time at TYT with Jink and Anna because they did decide to vote for and support Hillary Clinton in the wake of Bernie Sanders getting screwed over, which seemed to be one of the you know radicalizing uh, incidents for Jimmy Dore that led him to ditch the Democrats. But what we can't forget is that while Jimmy Dore was going through that political evolution, while he was, you know, deciding publicly to no longer support Democrats and instead support third party candidates, guess where he was fucking doing that? It was on TYT. They let him espouse that ideology, that, you know, perspective on their fucking show. He had his own show on tyt called aggressive progressives where he constantly shit on democrats where he constantly advocated for you know third party voting for jill stein instead of hillary clinton he was constantly making the case against the two parties and again that was on tyt that was on the platform that was afforded to you by jink and anna jimmy um so to say that they called you a right-wing grifter and ostracized you and all this stuff um over your anti-democrat stance that's ridiculous no they sanctioned that stance they allowed it to exist on their network as a perspective which they considered valuable enough to broadcast to their entire audience right and i don't even like tyt but you can't deny that they let him do that they let him advocate for third party voting they let him advocate for not supporting hillary clinton on their own goddamn fucking network <laughs> so again i don't even like tyt but that's just not true the reason why eventually all these people turned on you and called you a right-wing grifter was again not because you decided not to vote for democrats it was because you decided to constantly antagonize everyone to your left every progressive commentator that you used to pretend to be an ally of and you started making anti-vax crank videos trying to become the new alex jones talking about how trump is actually innocent and a victim of the deep state how all of the charges against him were actually just violations of the first amendment one after another, I could sit here for the next goddamn 20 minutes and list you right wing talking points that this dumb fuck moron has espoused on his show for the last couple of years. And that's the reason why people call you a right wing grifter, you moron, not because you decided to abstain from voting Democrat. 100 percent. 